Here we go again. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to my channel. Hit that join button so you can join the Tatum Squad. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. So ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, here we go again. Another incident where the media and everybody is pushing a fake narrative that I have to then come on here and clear up. But I'm glad to do so. And I have been, you know, blessed that God has given me a platform to correct this stuff. I'll say this right off the bat. The guy Dante Wright, which is the gentleman that just got killed um, out there in Minneapolis, he was wrong. And I'll say for the record, the police officer in this, the young lady who shot him was also wrong. However, however, all of this could have been avoided. All of it. Every, every ounce of it. These police officers, and I'm going to pull it up on the screen. These police officers aren't just running around trying to find Negroes. They go to a call. They, they, they make a traffic stop, which was necessitated because people don't know how to follow the law, riding around with fake tags, bad tags, expired registration, expired tags, tags not displayed properly, and then they wonder why they get pulled over. And when they pull you over, why are you still resisting arrest? Why are you resisting arrest? All of this protesting, all of this marching, Philando Castile, all of these th stories that people are just riding the coattail on, and you still resisting arrest. You ain't, you still. And then what do they do? They put pictures of you when you were a baby and do a GoFundMe. So let's get into the details of this situation. So Dante Wright, which is the gentleman that was, that was killed, he was pulled over because he had expired registration on his vehicle. It's, it's, it's fair. I pay, I don't know how much money in registration every year, and so does everybody else in America that are law-abiding citizens and that decide to do what's right because they're responsible drivers on the roadway. So whatever responsibility he had, he didn't fulfill that responsibility, which necessitated him being pulled over. Now, according to the article, he had to call his mama because he didn't have insurance in his car. Which is okay if your mama can provide insurance for you. You're a grown man, but if your mama can provide insurance for you, that's fine. If you got registration, they'll give you a ticket, you'll be on your way. Lo and behold, because don't know how to act, he got a warrant for his arrest. So a traffic stop that could have been avoided if he handled his business wasn't avoided because he would not get his stuff together like he's supposed to. Then he had a warrant. You're driving around with expired registration and a warrant. That's a recipe for disaster. Anyway, he has this warrant. They found out he had a warrant, and that's where the video starts. The video is going to start with them coming back to the car after they found out that he had a warrant for his arrest. This is a black police officer. This is a white police officer, which, is, which this is a sergeant. You see his stripes right here. He is a sergeant. This is a supervisor. This is a, uh, a black police officer and another police officer. Based on what I am looking at, it, it appears the, this officer and the, and the female officers are partners. She could be in field training, I don't know, because she totally blew this whole thing, in my personal opinion. But let's watch the film. I mean, that guy may be the rookie. I don't know who's, who's but they both, their tactics are bad. So as you notice, the sergeant, like the video I talked about yesterday, their tactics were horrible. But th th this tactical situation is reasonable at this point. Um, she's here, he's here, and he got a person on the other side. There is a passenger in this car, and then you have the driver, which is which is uh, Dante Wright. First mistake. Th this guy may be a rookie. First mistake. You don't pull a person out to arrest them and have them stand right in front of the door. Why, Mr. Tatum? Because he can end up fighting you. He can kick the door. You, you're in the door jam. He can get back in the car like he's about to do. Um, he has access to the, to the interior of the car from here. It's too much that can go on. You pull him here to the back of the vehicle. You take him to the trunk area, and then you arrest him. You have him spread his feet. You, 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 know, you, you, you do a quick pat down. You have him spread his feet so he don't have leverage. You get him off balance. Your foot should be in between his feet here. Your foot should be on the outside of his leg here. You have control. Hey, 
He's a rookie. He don't know how to handcuff. See, why he's fumbling with the handcuffs, because he didn't have it ready. He's not prepared. He doesn't have officer leverage. None of that. He didn't have no leverage. This guy is starting to think in his mind, I can get away. I'm going to try this guy. He doesn't have officer presence. He's not holding his hand firm. He doesn't have a tactical advantage. He, he's not even asserting himself. And therefore, these criminals get bold, and they start acting out. Let's, let's keep rolling. So he noticed the guy is now starting to tense up, but he has no leverage. He has no leverage on this guy right here. Even though he noticed he's tensing up, he has no leverage. And, and to me, he's still being soft with him because you, you'll find out why. Now he's in the car. This guy's here. The guy, the, the sergeant's on the other side. They're both trying to deal with him from the passenger and driver's side. There is a passenger in the car. So right now they're in a reasonable tactical advantage to a certain degree. He don't have control of the vehicle. He doesn't have his hand on the, you know, his foot on the gas. They, they are okay right now. Now, why does she still have a piece of paper in her hand is beyond me, and she pulls her gun out. She's screaming, I'm going to tase you with her gun out. So she clearly pulled out a gun instead of a taser. We'll talk about that in a minute. So she yells, taser, 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 and she shoots him. Boom. She shoots him. The officer backs away. She could have shot him. She could have shot the passenger. She could have shot the sergeant. She could have shot that officer. She is completely, she completely f***ed this whole thing up and still got a piece of paper in her hand. Okay. So everybody's shocked. The sergeant let her go. He's shocked. He don't know what happened. She said she just shot him. They wondering if she shot. She still got this piece of paper in her hand. Now let's talk about this for a minute because I think it's invaluable to, to address. She shouldn't be a police officer. I don't know if she's a affirmative action hire or what. He don't have his gun out. He never had his gun out. Why is she confusing a gun with the taser? A gun is on your gun side, meaning that you're right. If you're right-handed, you're going to be on your right side. If you're left-handed, your gun will be on the left side. Your taser is put on the opposite side of your belt. So you have to reach across in an untraditional manner in order to get the taser to use the taser. Some officers put the taser, if they have uh, these vests, they put the taser here on the top of their vest and they pull it from here. You never put your gun and your taser next to each other or even in the same direction. You have to be unorthodox when grabbing your taser so you never make this mistake. It looked like she had a Glock. We had a Glock 22. That gun is heavy. It's nowhere near the feel and heaviness of a taser. If you are so flustered that you have a gun in your hand and you think it's a taser, you are completely out of the game. You are completely flustered. You have, you, you are, you, you have put everybody's life in danger. Anyway. She acknowledges, yes. she acknowledges that she shot him. Obviously, the officer and the, and the sergeant are confused. She should never be a police officer ever again. However, I don't believe that she should be charged with a crime because it was unintentional. It was an accident. And she, she wholeheartedly believes she had a taser in her hand. But it was an accident. And this was all started from Dante Wright. He perpetuated, instigated, a, 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 a happening to occur. This is all his fault up until the point she shoots him. And that was her fault. But he instigated and caused all of this stuff to happen. So I believe personally that she shouldn't be charged, but she should never be a police officer ever again. She's not capable. She don't have the temperament uh, for whatever reason. You, I, I, you never pull out a gun instead of a taser. You, you, are, you are not equipped for this job. D Dante, everything that happened to him, he, he had it coming to him. Everything. Everything that happened to him, he had it coming to him. At what point do you stop resisting arrest? At what point do you stop? What, what, when? 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 And then you didn't got it in a situation where somebody didn't accidentally shot you because you now trying to pull off in a car over a warrant. And everybody's going to say they killed him over a... They, no, they didn't. He got himself killed over a warrant. Stop telling these... 
to be resisting arrest and acting a fool. What is the takeaway, ladies and gentlemen? Stop resisting arrest. You would never get to the point where somebody's pulling out a taser, a gun, a nothing. You would never get to that point. You you never get there. You would never give an officer a chance to mess up if you ain't resisting arrest. The black man had him in handcuffs. It, you you could have just went to jail right there. You don't you don't have a right to resist arrest. You had a warrant, bruh. What are you doing? Even if they let you go, where are you going? You think you just get, is, is this Grand Theft Auto? You think you just get to escape and they let you go and say, oh, he got away, dude. I guess he's free. Now they're going to chase you. And now they're going to come to your mama house. And, and they're going to get you. You should have took care of your last year. Mama reported that she gave him the car. Your mama gave you the car and you about to get the car towed because you got a warrant and you get, you don't get the registration done. This is the problem with these young, where's your daddy at? Now his daddy may be there, but your daddy ain't the one talking on the camera and your daddy must not raise you right. Any good father will tell their children, take care of your business. And if you get caught, if you out there with them warrants, you get caught, just you got caught, bruh. Fight it in court. And then your mama probably told you to take care of this stuff a long time ago. Your mama probably gave you the money to take care of it. But you still ain't took care of your warrants because you're irresponsible. Stop raising these irresponsible men and then giving them a pass when they get popped. He got everything that was coming to him. And I do not care. After you start fighting police and resisting arrest, I don't care what happened to you. And I hope that this officer lose her job because you can't be a cop doing this. You can't. It was, it was an accident. I get it. It was an accident. I understand. Heat of the moment. Stuff happens. You can't be a cop. You don't have the temperament. You don't have the composure. Nobody pulled out a gun but you. Nobody put out a taser but you. And even if you did, at, at, at minimum, pull out the doggone taser and use the taser. This has happened before. I get it. I don't think she's going to be charged. I don't think she should be charged. It was an honest mistake in a heated situation caused by Mr. Wright. But you can't be a cop no more. Put the uniform up. You weren't made for this. You weren't made for it. Shouldn't go to prison, but you weren't made for this job. As a former police officer, and I love police officers, and I take police officers back when it's appropriate, but when you shoot somebody, when you thought you had a taser, and there's no way in the world, in your mind, in your training, you should confuse a taser with a gun, it did like, bruh, you didn't mess everybody up. It's these, it's the, and, and I don't know if she was affirmative action hire, but they be hiring people to meet quotas and they're not hiring the best people for the job. I don't know of a person that would have made that mistake. It's, it's, I understand if you had a gun and you, and you had your gun out and you shot him, you didn't mean to shoot him, but you, you were, you had the right to threaten him with deadly force. I can understand that. But when you meant to have a taser, but you had a gun, you could have killed, you could have shot your other officers. You could have shot the passengers. You could have shot, you all messed up. No way can you patrol ever again. No way. And for all the naysayers out there saying it has to do with race, go shut your mouth. The black man was actually taking him into custody, but the black man couldn't take orders from another black man. So then he want to fight and do all this other stuff. White, white people weren't even involved. The white man was just watching. They, they, the reason why they sent the brother up there, probably because they, they knew it was a brother on brother. So therefore, they can't say nothing. She still can't get it right. Anyway, comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. Um, I always want to do these over and over and over again because I feel like I missed something somewhere. But comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about what happened. The outrage and craziness is, is bizarre and berserk to me. Now, now people burning down stuff, burning the community. Looting stores, the same thing that these always do every time something like this happens. But anyway, I'll save that for another video. Comment in the comment section, like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all know what it is, man. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.